Riverside Park, Nina, Wisconsin, scene of the Milwaukee Sentinel Winnebago Land Outboard Marathon. More than 7,000 people are gathered to watch the biggest, roughest, toughest, roaring water classic in America. From all over the USA, spectators and drivers have converged on Nina for the fifth annual run. 285 of the country's greatest outboard racers are registered. Pit area for the racing drivers. Facilities unmatched in excellence and abundance in keeping with the whole unique character of this most spectacular outboard contest. Part of the excitement and glamour of a big boat race is the getting ready. With growing tensions and with tender care, the boys do all the hundred last minute things to put their boats in the peak of racing condition. An engine is tied down, or a notch is sawed in a transit. The vision in the minds of the drivers is reflected in the eyes of a blue-eyed boy. Behind the outward calm of mechanical preparations, all thoughts from the roaring, rushing, pounding ordeal of 92 miles of turbulent water. This is a race rich in legend. There is the story of the 56-year-old man who went the full grueling distance, holding the fuel tank in his lap. In the long course down Lake Winnebago to Oshkosh, then through Lakes Butamore, Winnicani, Poygan, and up the Wolf River to Fremont, there is the ultimate test of stamina of men in tiny boats and mighty motors. And so the preparations go on. Auxiliary tanks are strapped down, gas lines are connected and the rigs are fueled, ready for the long, long haul. The moment draws near. The drivers get their final briefing, a review of the route, the markers and the checkpoints, and the latest information on the weather along the course. They surge out of the chopped up harbor and rocket for open water. They're starting to string out now as they hit the road down Lake Winnebago. Down the long lake, the great flotilla charges. Spreading out in the distance, the speed demons skim down the west shore of Winnebago towards Oshkosh. Back at Nina, the thousands lining the shore grow tense in anticipation as the small boats edge toward the starting line. Three seconds, two, one, they're off! Thick as a school of mackerel, fast as porpoises, in wave after wave, the powerful little rigs slash through the churning harbor, streaking for open water. Again, the unique spectacle as this great host of outboard racers rounds the point at full throttle. And on they leap and pound, stringing out like a giant task force. This is indeed the Kentucky Derby of the outboard. In the two sections, 274 boats have started. Not all will cross the finish line. Now the turn at Oshkosh. Rounding Rockwell Light and flashing up the Fox River, it's D2V all by himself. The second D boat streaks past. And finally, the leaders of the pack come roaring through in close succession. First, it's the big engine jobs, the D's. Then the B's and C's begin to make their appearances. The boats are entered by classes according to their piston displacement. 25 horsepower down to seven and one half. D, C, B and A are the four class designations. A B-boat drops out at Oshkosh. An A-boat way out.
out ahead of its class. Lake Butamor is the next stage of the journey. This lad lost his way. A wrong turn in the difficult winding waterway, and he's up a blind alley. Some will lose their way, but the better navigators follow the high road up the Wolf River and on to Winniconnick. But it's nerve and guts of steel that keep them all going through mile after mile of the fierce, fast, brutal pounding. channels of the marshes, past the floating boglands, and on up the river to Fremont. Fremont is the halfway mark. Here is another checkpoint. Here come the leaders. Stan Adrian of Lee's Summit, Missouri, in D-44Y rounds the marker and starts the long voyage home. Walt Robbins of Springfield, Massachusetts, in D-16B, blazing around the marker buoy. Where is D2B? Yes, you guessed it. He came by so far ahead. He's now halfway back to Oshkosh. D46 roars, skids, and bounces in a fast swing. Now along comes a B boat. D78W, Dennis Blake of Oshkosh. Then Jin Wojan in D72. Ken Druzik in C-65W. B-boats are sensational, running away from all but the very fastest and bigger, more powerful class. Four more B-boats with B-93 stealing the lead on the turn with skillful run. Believe it or not, an A-boat among the early boats into Fremont. Ted Moberg in his tiny A-68W running ahead of Class and Four. High sign to the checkers, and away he goes back to Winnicott. Out from under the bridge at Winnicott, the leaders come flashing. Man, driving one of these rigs is like riding an explosion. And down at Oshkosh, it's the familiar D2V with Switzer in command of his far out front position. So far, that here he meets other boats going upstream in the first half of their journey. Then as the other leaders move down to Oshkosh, the race is in the home stretch. Now the electricity begins to run through the crown at the finish line as the announcement comes of the leaders' positions coming out of Oshkosh. D2V, D44Y, D16B, D22V, D80P, D46. Then the flash comes, Switzer passing Garlic Island only seconds up. A boat rounds the point. The crowd is on its feet. This is the big moment. D2V rifles across the line the first to finish. Setting a new marathon record of one hour, 47 minutes, and 35 seconds. A thoroughly weary young man, now that the pressure is off and the grind is over. The checkered flag begins to wave in the other money boats. Fred Snyder in D-80P. Then Walt Robbins in D-60P. Stan Adrian in D-44Y. The crane lifts D2V from the water so that the hull can be weighed and measured, and the engine torn down in the post-race inspection of all winning boats. So let's hear from the man who led all the way in this fifth annual Winnebago Land Marathon. First time, how many winners? First time you won. I got second one. I understand you never, you, you set a new course record up here of one minute, 
and 47 seconds. That's one hour and 47 That's seconds. Right. Uh -huh. How do you feel about that? Right. That's you took, all right. You took nine minutes off that course. That's you know right. that. Did you have any trouble? Yeah, I would have knocked another nine minutes off. I was out in Oshkosh for nine minutes on the way back. What happened to you? I uh, swamped out, hit a cruiser wake. What do you mean you swamped oh, out? the nose went underneath the water and just uh -huh. filled up the boat with water, and the motor drowned it out. And uh -huh. so, uh, I uh, took and bailed it out and started up again. You started later. a bail? Yeah. <laughs> what happened it. to that? I got it out. Got your motor started? Yeah. You put it on your way. Yeah. Were, you ever, were you ever anything but first in this race? No, I was going to all the way. All the way. Even though I was out 10 minutes, I was that much ahead. Here's an upset. What kind of a boat you running? A B boat. Dennis Grenier across the line in two hours, nine minutes, and five seconds. A victory to be proud of. Mercury shows the way as Ron Zubak in B-68J, Mervyn Herget in B-17W, Jerry Van Amper in B-104M, Vern Gibson in B-3101, and 19 others flash across the line ahead of the first D-1. Mark this, 24 Mercury 10s in ahead of the first 25 horsepower D-1, and 15 Merc 10s finishing ahead of the 22 horsepower C winner. Outstanding proof of Mercury power and dependability. Here's Larry Freeman in C2W, first in his class. Judges and timers are kept busy as more of the Ds arrive. Bob Murphy in D24B and Art Siebold in D58. Here's Bill Smith, first in his little A67M, and Ted Moberg in A68W. More in Class D, Ralph Davis and Dick Hansen fighting right to the finish. A-225C, Bud David. The returning boats are coming in fast, and spectators must check their tally sheets to keep tab on the results. A-49M, Lee J. Mee. A-210S, Bill Neal. Tired warriors letting themselves uncoil as they wait their turn for inspection. On and on they come. 163 in all, flashing across the goal line. The great race goes on. A marathon of modern times in which it is an honor and glory to stick it up and go the whole distance in the Winnebago Land Outboard Marathon. <laughs>